Jeez. Joe Morisi, Batman. Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Sit down. How are you, Mr. Wayne? I'm fine. Good. I'm good. One of those generic bullshit terms. Good, fine, well, happy. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Bruce, I do. That's my job. I get paid very well to know how you are, and you're not good. You must be out of your damn mind. This motherfucker think he's Batman. You ain't Batman, you look like Fat Man. Hello. I am Batman. I'm a mysterious guy, I'm a weird, people think I'm a weirdo. I'm really mysterious, they never know what I'm thinking. I like to hang out on the roof, I like to get fresh air on the roof, I got a cape. You wanna see my cape? Got gray, I got dark features, great eyes, thick facial hair. And yeah, that's it. I'm Batman. I mean, he's definitely not Batman. Batman is tall and handsome and muscular. This guy is short and fat. He's scum. He is too fat to fly. Let him in. You came here last week saying you fought someone and he launched a series of explosive playing cards at you at the top of City Hall. Yeah, well, it was the courthouse. Meaningless. I didn't scan your back for injury, Mr. Wayne. I scanned your brain. I scanned your brain. Yeah, hey, can I please have a medium coffee? <laughs> <laughs> well, can I just get an apple? <laughs> what is an apple? <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Let me ask you a question, son. How are your parents doing? Are they all right? Or were they brutally murdered when they was leaving an opera one night? I ain't think you Batman, son. I don't think you bat shit. And that's called guano, son. I bet that you was some kind of sad child just living in some kind of dreamland. Ain't no girls like you because you smell like tuna fish and your pants couldn't afford to buy you no Nintendo. If you Batman, then I'm King Tut. And I ain't near as heavy as Victor Bono, you understand? You aren't Batman. You are Bruce Wayne, you brilliant man. You haven't realized it yet because you haven't tried to fly. How do you know you'll fall if you don't jump? Remember the rule. Meet someone new at each meal.
You ever try and buy raspberries? They last like two days. And there's 80 of them in the cart. They leave the sides open to let air get in. But they only last two days. I didn't know that. I'm eating them the first two days. They're good. And then the third day, they taste bad. And then I have to Google it. And it tells me, raspberries last two days. What kind of a maniac's going to eat 80 raspberries in two days? They need to put a disclaimer on there. Like, you better be baking a pie or making a cheesecake. You're going to have like 70 wasted berries on your hands. Actually, a cheesecake sounds really good right now. But I can't make it. It's lunchtime. For real? In and, um, accordance with yeah, housing right. policy, you are required to sit with yeah, somebody right. new at lunch today and make a new Four friend. Four Go nights. ahead. Yeah. Take a risk. Yeah, Life's it. too short. If not, really nice. you will be marked down three points in the team building oh, section of your quarterly oh, performance it's review. It's hey, Joe. Oh, hey. Um, want to sit together at lunch today? Oh, yeah. That, that sounds cool. Sure. When, now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm hungry. Got a turkey. Carrots, too. Oh, grapes? <laughs> Welcome to Henry's Kitchen, and today we're going to be uh, teaching you how to make Henry's uh, Beef Bourguignon. What I'll do is I'll go to Wikipedia and try to find out what the actual terms mean. The Scotch Egg claims to have been invented by the London department store Fortnum & Mason in 1732, but was most likely inspired by the Moghul dish Nargisi Kofta Narcissus meatballs. I'll run two hours each. 